Hello everyone, in our last section we learned how to use Bitbucket repository for our YI2 application. Let's move on to the second section of this course, i.e. Twitter Bootstrap. Developing a fancy, stylish and responsive design is a difficult and time-consuming job. Even more, we need to achieve great results on each of the major browsers and various screen sizes. In this section, we will discover how to do these hard design jobs quickly and easily with Twitter Bootstrap Framework. We will have a look at how to use Twitter Bootstrap Framework appropriately, how to add Bootstrap components, and how to use Bootstrap JavaScript features in our application. Now, let's have a look at video 2.1, Combining Highload with Twitter Bootstrap Framework. In this video, we will discover how to create responsive design using cross-browser Twitter Bootstrap Framework. This will make the front page of our application look great in any screen and any browser. Note that though Yi2 application already have Twitter Bootstrap on board, auto-generated views doesn't have too many examples of proper Bootstrap usage, doesn't explain Bootstrap's grid system and doesn't use Bootstrap's JavaScript widgets. The purpose of this video is to fill this gap and discuss all this in detail. How to achieve that? First of all, we have a look at screen sizes predefined in Bootstrap. Then we'll discover what block styles are most suitable for our blocks. Finally, we combine things together and that's it. Let's have a look at the web page getbootstrap.com forward slash CSS. This is the most important page to understand what responsive design with Bootstrap is. In brief, Bootstrap uses 12 column grid to build responsive web page. You just need to specify appropriate block class to define how many columns the block should use and this block width may change depending on what screen displays the page. Note that to define block width, it uses the same column amount on all wider screens, until this amount will be changed for wider displays. You can read all details on your own. Now let's try it. Let's have a look at the home page. I have changed header titles and links below to make them clearer. Since all descriptions are always different, let's change their content a bit. I just copied the last sentence in the first description. Also, let's copy the last header and description. Since we need four blocks in the row, not three, change the header number, save our code and refresh the page. The fourth block moved to the new line, since there is no space for it on desired line. So, we need to reduce the width of all four blocks. It is very simple. Just change the block class COLLG4 to COLLG3. So, all our blocks will use not four, but three columns in our 12 columns bootstrap grid. Save this code and refresh the page. That's it. This screen width is called large in bootstrap. And now let's have a look at how our page will be displayed on narrower screens. We just reduced the browser's width. This screen width is called medium in Bootstrap. Hmm, when we make the browser narrower, each block expands to the whole row and becomes too wide. We need to fix it so that four blocks should be on the same line even if the screen is not so wide. It is achieved with bootstrap classes. We just need to change the block class from COLLG3 to COLMD3 for the first block, second, and then third and fourth. So the blocks will use three columns in 12 column grid on medium screens, as well as on large screens. Save the code and update the page. Yes. That's much better. Let's reduce the width of our browser even more. Such screen width is called small in Bootstrap. As we see, 
in narrower screens, our blocks are still too wide. But we can't place four blocks on the same line, since they will be too narrow. Let's place two blocks on the same line. Since we need two blocks in one line, each block should use six columns in our 12 column bootstrap grid. And for small size screens, we need to add the class col sm6 for each block. Note that we need to leave the colmd3 class as it is, since we need four blocks on one row for medium screens. And for large screens, colg star class will be used. Save this code and update the page. It works. However, now we have a trouble with third and fourth blocks. Third block should be placed directly under the first block, but it is placed under second block. Why? The matter is, the first block has a bigger height, so the third block can't stick to the left side of the container, under the first block. How to solve this issue? It is easy with Bootstrap. You just need to add the block with ClearFix class after the second block. ClearFix is a special class, like line break for the browser, and moves all the next elements to the beginning of the next line. Let's do that. Save it, and update the page. Great, it helps. Now let's look at how our page will be displayed on smartphones. This is the Bootstrap Extra Small screen size. It looks great. Let's return to standard browser size. And now we have the next hurdle. ClearFix block still moves all blocks after it to new line. How to solve this now? Simple. We just need to use the Bootstrap Hidden classes for medium screen, Hidden MD, and for large screen, Hidden LG. Let's do that. Save code and update the page. The job is done. Our page looks great on all screen sizes. It took a little time and effort, but we have finally achieved the goal for this video. Specifically, we have learned screen sizes used in Bootstrap, we discovered how to use Bootstrap block classes correctly, and now we can develop responsive design quickly with Bootstrap. In the next video, we will learn how to add bootstrap components to high load.